Hey everybody, welcome to Miscast Commentary, a coming attractions episode. I'm Joe Finley. I'm Tebow Todd, the man, Sailor Man. 300 episodes and he still doesn't know his own name, 300. guys. 300! Like 300! This is Caddyshack. Is that the movie? <laughs> yes, it yes. is. All he right. Kicks that little beaver guy. Mm. Awesome. And couldn't be more timely, I just celebrated this past Monday my 40th birthday, and I got a gift. If you're on the hill, bud. Oh. You're on, you're teetering on the edge of a dandy, bud. No, Woo! no human Might being. Might as well do heroin now. Yeah. No human being is more aware than you that I was over the hill when I was 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, look at your, your picture collage. Yeah, I got a picture collage back That's there. The, it's going to be, they're just going to show the same collage for every year of your life. As well they like, baby. should. It'll be like bald with your fucking beard. <laughs> Adolescence, old man. Be, you're like Benjamin Buttons, but you just you just stay the same age. Yeah, exactly. Your entire life. I wish that that were true, man. I wish that I had. I, I wanted Poor to go mother. through. I wanted to go through and be like, oh man, I'm I'm just a regular Paul Rudd. I'm like, nope, a fatter. regular Paul Rudd, the like, sexiest man alive. Yeah, I was like, nope, just nope, not the same age all the way through. Just fatter and worse constantly. The- Woohoo! The um, I can't believe he got it. Good for him. He deserved it. He did. I want to blow him. What? Everybody does. He's yeah. ageless. Yeah, he is. Oh, I saw Ghostbusters Afterlife. I also saw Go- saw Ghostbusters Afterlife. How did you feel about it? Me. I was good with Meh. it, but it was that kind of thing where like uh, it's a little fan servicey. But I was like, you know what? I was in the mood to be fan service. The, I so agree. I was like, I was on. I, it. I don't think the audience I was with really. Like, I found it strange to put a scene in that took place in the first one. Yeah. And I'm like, nobody, I love that scene, though. Yeah. Which, where, he's, where she's zapping him. Oh, yes. Like, in the credits, it's like Sigourney. I was like, Sigourney yeah. Weaver wasn't in this. Fu-. And then I, was I like, li- oh, there she is. I literally had the exact same moment. I'm like, where was Sigourney? I'm like, ooh, maybe another scene's coming. And then as there, I'm saying yeah. that, it popped up. And then there she was. But it was, yeah. a, eh, I don't know. I thought that we rushed through everything. Yeah. It was a romp. Was I enjoyed a- seeing the boys. Ah, oh, the boys. And, and the CG Harold Ramis. Yeah, I was. Well, I imagine like a studio spending millions of dollars on a CG Harold Ramis. He must be very happy right now. They did that in the Stripes as well. He wasn't yeah, in it at all. At all. He couldn't be in it. And Not like, even. We'll use CG. And they're like, what's CG? And they said, you shut the fuck up, you cokehead. Yeah. We'll take care of it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> and though, they did. Long, long they sto- killed him. And then. Uh, yeah. Long way around, though, to say I got this nice birthday gift from my wife, which I'll show you now. Oh, yeah. Your birthday. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's super cool. I like it a lot. It's going to be in the background, like where that where that little advent calendar tree that is currently not f- full of anything. Um, it will go there. Eventually. I want one of those that says "Your Todd," so that mm-hmm. when I wake up in my night terrors, yeah. I can look over and be like, "Oh, oh." Uh, the only thing though is, I would have God. ones made for you that had different names and different information. I would sneak into your house every night yeah. and swap it out. <laughs> you would put the "Your Todd" in, and you'll be like, I- "I'm gonna feel so much better when I wake up and I see this." And then it just, and then I have, uh, I'll put in, and it said, "Your dick fell off years ago." And you'll uh- be like, like it's gonna be fantastic oh my god or like uh, uh uh you know it'll be a big huge one but it'll all be like me killing yeah you know the leader of some country which i will then embark on a mission to do it yeah because i believe when i wake up yeah absolutely like when you get drunk and you like my name's todd like please yeah. mail me to this please don't rape and kill me if only um i keep a hundred dollar bill sticking out of my butthole take it and go <laughs> see this is the exact uh this is the exact route I hoped that this conversation would go mm-hmm. down, so it's ideal. Uh, lots to talk about before we kind of get into some celebratory things. Uh, let's do the opposite of celebrating first. Anne Rice died. Oh, I read that somewhere. That literally just happened. Like she's not dead. Yeah, she's yeah, well, she's on dead now. Exactly. Um, but yeah, the person who basically made you think that uh, vampires are sexy time people uh, is gone now. So I, I didn't really have much to say about that. Other Did you see the new Jack happened. Reacher? I haven't seen it. He's new like Jack. three times the height of Tom Cruise. Oh, is this like a show? Yeah. Oh, like or something. Let me guess, Amazon, because they're always. Probably. Taking, I was gonna say because they did the same thing with um, Krasinski. Everything. And like, what was what's Jack, Jack Ryan? Ryan. Yeah. Nah. So that was its own thing. Uh, we were just talking about Ghostbusters, 
And, oh my god, the computer's going bananas. No, but anyways, we were just talking about Ghostbusters and the point I was trying to make with that. Uh, Olivia Wilde was confirmed that she oh, was, was Gozer. was that her? Yes, it because was her. when I saw her, I was like, isn't that that bitch that fucking cheated on her man with Harry Styles? Yeah. Everybody yes. should be doing that, though. Like, I don't Did anybody blame her? Blame her? No. Yeah. It was hard. Ted it was, Lasso made ha- a career out of yeah. it. Harry Styles or Jason Sudeikis. You make your choice. And everybody felt so bad for him, they gave him an Emmy. So, yeah. win-win for everyone. You betcha. People love that goddamn show. I know. I don't, I don't understand. People love that show. I never watched it, but I, like, I stopped preview for it. I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, you know what it is? Mm. I think that it's just in a world of nonstop negativity. Like, even, like, every show is yeah, the yeah, end. So. Every show is about, like, the greediest people in the world or an apocalypse. So to just have some guy who's just happy. Is he, though? It's just, well, hey, well, I mean, he hasn't had a freaking breakdown or anything yet. That'll be next season. So, hopefully. The big episode at the end. I'm having a breakdown. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, fuck. Here we go. But it's actually, he just starts a, like, a breakdance competition. He's like, break it down. I wonder what, I wonder why Olivia Wilde chose to be Gozer. She looked fucking awesome, though. She did look awesome. But, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, for the life of me, more of her. She's in the movie for, like, four seconds. Yeah, I know. But, uh, I, well, I guess, because if you look in the credits, because I even I was like, who, like, I am I wasn't thinking Olivia Wilde right off, but I was like, who, I know who that is. Right who when is I saw that? her, I was like, that's Olivia Wilde. Yeah, and I was like, who is that? Who is that? And then I went through the credits. I'm like, oh, never mind. She's nobody, because they put some random name in there. And that, but Alan then. Alan Smithy. Yeah, no, it wasn't even that. It was, like, a very long, like who even knows what name and so i was like oh okay well whatever it was just some random butch lesbian i love like the mother too is like he left us end of story Mm. no mom i really want to show you something in the basement no i don't care and then eventually she goes down there and the pixar lamp is like and she's like one picture you do care and then there's like a you know a collage of her i was like oh for the love you don't think that some lady moves into her new house and doesn't go check out like what's going on in the basement? Oh, absolutely. That's Come see, on. That, yeah, no, that's the truth. Is come on, she didn't go look around everywhere to yeah. see what the fuck's going on. Although they did do a good job of painting her as a disinterested human being, because <laughs> she, she was, was just crazy. basically like Ugh. all of a sudden it turns into like Gozer's dog. Which yeah, was like, what the fuck? Like, like she was like just a little bit off from like saying it's wine o'clock when she like sends her kid to school. <laughs> yeah. Kids are gone, and she pulls out like a wine cooler in the car and she mm-hmm. starts drinking it. Which means the kids are there now. Hi, Paul Rudd. Jump on home. this, but um, but yeah, no, I was yeah, no, I was overall happy. Um, Hawkeye. Awesome. We talked. I talked briefly about it yet. on the totally one. Totally awesome. It's not done. It's so good. Uh, it's very, very good. Uh, spoiler. You, you're you up to date, right? You've watched all four episodes? Yes. Okay. So, Yelena. Oh, shit just got real. Yelena is back or here, but he's not really aware of what happened kind of on the sidelines, or at least the way he reacts. He's not happened what happened kind of on the sidelines with Natasha. So, they're going that way. But I guess there's rumors because people have been talking about this for a while saying we think like Yelena is going to be in it we think Yelena is going to be in it and we think that between her and Kate and Ms. Marvel who's coming up and a few other people that they're going to lean towards like a Young Avengers mm. thing because they're going to have all these kind of youthful Oh Kate folk. Bishop Yes um, and the other Kate ones. Bishop, Yelena uh, Ms. Marvel and then Stretch probably Chick. a couple others Str- yeah and then probably a few others in there. The teen Titans only teen yeah Marvel guys Teen Marvels um so yes yeah, so, but the show's been really fun so far it's, it's only really got killer. only two more episodes oh though. my god that scene where they shoot the arrow with the pim particle and it makes the arrow humongous that was, was like, cool oh my god that was the only that was the only one that i like because i was like all these new arrows i'm like where did all these come like that one that got all foamy or it was like the blue goo have, or whatever it's a putty arrow i know but it looked i don't it didn't look that good like compared to like i was like what do you eh. mean like the special effects yeah the putty? The special effects was kind of somewhere, I guess. Right. But it was just I was kind of like, ah, we bring it out all these new arrows just like cuz. And I was like, all right. And there's like, eh, I don't it's know. Probably good, you know, if, he, he obviously has a shit ton of arrows that we haven't yeah. seen yet. Well, my thought is, if you're going to do it, make it look good. And it didn't look very good. So I was kind of like, whatever. Was but awesome. I was on top of the pin one. I also just liked the joke of the USB one. Oh, just like yeah. hit the guy to just like bounce. <laughs> you off don't want to know what this one's going to do. So that was good. And then everything with the LARPers has been funny. Yep. I, I just really dig it. I like that yeah. they're going more into the whole Ronin thing and yeah. what he did in those that time period, and it really gets more into mm-hmm. uh, him and uh, um, Black Widow, which yeah. obviously really affected him because he's like the only person, other than Potts, I guess, yeah. who really lost anything. Yeah, 
Well, I mean, they all lost their families and shit. Yeah, but they're humans, like the Hulk. Yeah. He didn't have anybody. He's yeah. like unkillable. And then most you have Thor, who's like unkillable, and then you've got you know. Well, most everybody else got everybody back. Or like they got right. everything back. Like uh, Paul Rudd was gone, and then came back, and then got everything back because he was lost in the because he himself yeah. was gone. Yeah, yeah. So it was like like everybody got a win. But he Except had like for, he had a permanent loss because nobody right. had a relationship. Well, although I would suggest well, family the, back and shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, I, I would say I would say that that would definitely be an an ultimate Ooh. consolation that you should be all right with. But uh, right. but yeah. So that was that. Um, they revealed that uh, Multiverse of Madness uh, a trailer will be arriving before Ooh. the new year. So that means oh, we're going to go see Spider Man together. We're going to see we're going to live stream movie to the yeah. detriment of everyone around us. Yep. We like, fuck you. We're doing a podcast. Yes, exactly. fuck man. <laughs> this guy's fucking problem. Todd's gonna stand up in front of everybody as like the trailers are going on. This episode brought to you by. <laughs> And I'm oh. hoping they throw lots of popcorn at me so I will catch yeah. it and then eat it. Yep. And speaking of which, the um, teaser trailer for uh, um, Spider-Man Across the Spider Verse Part One. Whoa! Just came out. And that was pretty cool. There's not much to it. You basically get... He's probably going over to the other ones now. Yeah, that is what's happening. Is basically, uh, at the end of Into the Spider-Verse, he's sitting there, he's doing okay. whatever, and then something like oh, like a portal opens up, and he like, looks up, and then that's kind of the credits. I have to watch and it then, again. I don't remember that. Yeah, one. and then this like continues on, but like they they promised... Uh, a lot of the same guys, but then more guys. I know the Korean, like the Supida man or whatever his name was, is going to be there, which sounds racist when I say it, but that's really what it is. So, I mean, you can't really, you can't fault me unless I'm just completely making this up, in which is. case you could fault me later. Exactly. But uh, legally, legally, like everybody else. But yeah, so I'm really excited to see that, but I'm really excited to see a Multiverse of Madness trailer too. Oh, fuck yeah. The next little what bit. Um, Fantastic Beast finally coming out with its trailer because it's been so long because of all the Johnny Depp. Uh, oh, yeah, they replaced him with Mads Mikkelsen. Precisely. So the first trailer is popping for that. To, well, tomorrow as we record this. Two, okay, so, yeah. uh, it's, oh, yeah. it's not as good as like, like the Harry Potters were telling this like good story. And this one, like it's more interesting now. I think the first one, you're kind of like, I don't know any of these people. It doesn't really you know, matter. It's a brand new movie. I know, no, but it was like, you're, you're a part of this world. And it's like, I've heard the name. Like, they literally pulled a name from the a guy on one of the textbooks. And that's what this, the whole movie is about. And you're like, uh, are we going to follow this guy? Based on the name. But then they're like, right, oh. They say based on the Disney, Disney record. Yeah. This movie's based on the name. Yeah, pretty much. Joe. Well, like, Newt's, oh. yeah, Newt Scamander, he's like literally on the... Uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them textbook for care of magical creatures. And then anybody who knows the appendices of Harry Potter knows that um, Luna Lovegood married his grandson. And that's mm. it. That's, that's all you had of him. That's certainly something. And then so now it gets more interesting now because now you've introduced young Dumbledore, sexy Jude Law. Mm. And then you had He's a great gay, of all. You know. He is gay. They're going to talk about his gayness. Uh, yeah, probably actually. Gay spells. Gay spells. I guess they're essentially just the same. It, no, it's, it's just if Lamar did them. Well, no, because <laughs> because it's all because it's all J.K. Rowling based. And she's like she comes at it really homophobic. She's like expecto patronum. <laughs> Have to be like just like. Well, why would she make him gay? Did she only make him gay just to be like, see, I'm not. Homophobic. No, no, this predates. Well, at least like this predates her being accused of anything. Uh, um, it was. I I think. I don't even think that it was something that was really meant to be per se i think it was just one of those hey why doesn't like you know we never talk about you know the loves of dumbledore or something she's like oh he's gay and then that yeah, was like, just what, like well, exactly like why would you have to yeah and that's the thing and that's really always should be the answer to the question is like why does every book like single person have to pair off yeah and then like why well, always love like too like why do you have to like know the sexuality of somebody why can't they just be in something well you know but that's what they were probably yeah. like you're a total homophobe jake you're like she's like oh i'm a homophobe From yeah. Whatever that word yeah. is, she's she, she's yeah. such a homophobe. She well, she's the word. she's, she's a like turf. Dumbledore's gay. Yeah, Dumbledore. And they're like, whoa. Yeah. So how could I be that? I've been waiting because really, her whole thing has been the whole trans thing. That's where all her trouble has come in. But, oh, he's not trans. No, he's I know he's not trans. Man. But what I'm waiting for her to say is, she's like one of our most prominent teachers tr uh, teaches transfiguration. So I don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> That's what I always see. We have like, the, the Church of the Transfiguration. Yeah, it's somewhere. 
in the city, and I'm always like, what is happening in there? Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, my God. They're turning mice into cups. Uh, something. That's what's something happening. Something fucked up. Um, There's so, a lot of transfiguring going on. Yeah, that's what I figure is happening. Um, so, yeah, so that's that stuff. Um, also, I guess uh, rumored that in uh, Ant-Man and Quantumania, like the new the new sequel coming out. Ant-Man um, in the Quantumania. There's going to be a lead in to MODOK, like the live action MODOK. This is where it's going to get confusing because they just made the MODOK cartoon that starred Patton Oswalt as MODOK. Mm-hmm. But now Patton Oswalt is in the MCU, in the Eternals. As I can't even remember, Pip, I think his name was, or something like that. He was right at the end. In one of the, he was in one of the after credit scenes. Is that you, Pip? And or the mid credit scene, whatever it was. Him and Harry Styles going back to that. Uh, oh. And um, and then they. Uh, so now he's there, but now you have live action Modok coming, who's going to be somebody else. And they sat. It sounds like it's like another character. It's who's already existed is going whatever. to become. Yeah, it's a whole. Whatever. Who it's knows? a whole thing. I don't um, even know who the fuck Modok is. Mo- yeah. It's like a face with legs. He's like Krang, he's like Krang without the giant body. Ooh. That's the way I always That's kind of what he said. looks like. It could be anybody's face. Right? It's me, Modok. Yeah. I rule the universe. Well, it made Just me... put my head in a box. You know who put it makes... a crotch makes... right here. Yeah. You know who it legs. makes me... Uh, it makes me think about... It makes me think about Armin Z- uh, Arnim Zola. Arnim Zola? From, uh, like, you know, because he's like in the computer... In uh, oh, in Buddy, yes, yeah. So oh, like, I could see that. I dug him actually. Arm, good old arm. And Arna, so yeah, I liked him a lot. Uh, and he appears again. Like in, a cleaning product. Yes. Get get yourself a bottle of Arnim Zola and get out those nasty stains. <laughs> yeah. it, it, um, it really gets out us uh, super super soldier blood. Yes. The mo yes because it's really that's tough tough to get out yeah, of leather. <laughs> Why is there so much leather around? <laughs> um, because because all super soldiers hardcore into BDSM. That's right. It's because they don't feel because you know like they don't feel pain as much. They probably don't feel pleasure as much either. So they really have to kind of lay into it. To, well, probably because they are super soldiers. Yeah. If the fabric of their regular pants starts to do something and they get a super soldier boner, yeah. pants gone. Yeah, pants gone. You need something real. Mm, you know, something that's going to keep her in, keep her locked in. No doubt. Um, what else do we got? Uh, Cobra Kai had its trailer season for season five, f- four. four. Yeah. And introduces. Haven't they worked out their differences yet? No. It's, well, they've, it's, it's now gone the whole other way. Oh, fuck. Because what? Uh, Kreese came back in, in the last oh, season. No. And then ended up like taking over Cobra Kai. <sighs> And like basically, like the ba- the old bad guy, the old the bad old guy. guy, yeah, the uh, yeah, the old sensei, and because he was like, I'm gonna help you, like Johnny, and then it kind of started like Mr. Getting Miyagi out of kicked his ass in part two. He did, and so things got kind of out of hand, and then he's like, No, I'm like leaving you, but now he's got Cobra Kai. He's like, Fuck you, even take it, and now he's t- uh, Johnny's teaming up with Daniel. And he's got all their old students. But then who's on the other side? Uh, Johnny's Lesnar, son. Michael is, Jai White. Yeah. Johnny's uh, son is. Flash. A, Johnny's son. I'm going to get this fucking <laughs> sentence out. Johnny's son is still over with Cobra Kai Ooh. and all that stuff. So there's all kinds of things. But then they bring back another Cobra Kai legend. Terry Silver from Car- Karate Kid 3. Oh, my God. Is there? He looks so different. Wait a second. So the His one, hair is Snow White. So the one. The guy who was the bad guy in the first one, the kid. Yes. He's now with Daniel son. Yes. But his son is now with his old leader. Yes. That must be a rough dinner. It's a thing. Well, it's a rough dinner scene. They are, um, yes, they are in dinner at home. And he's like, are you going off to do evil with the Cobra Kai's? Yeah. No, there's even, I really like, there's the one scene where the Cobra Kai guys, they actually went to a Halloween party and they were all dressed in the uh, thing. Again, it's one of those total fan service shows and it's just, it occurs to me more and more. Sometimes I just need that. Okay, who cares? And it's like, well, because sometimes I don't. And it's like, I'm watching a movie and I'm like, okay, we, we waited this long for a new movie to come out. And you're just giving and like you're just like hitting all the buttons to be like, oh, man, this will make them happy instead of like trying to make your own thing. And then it's like I say that and I'm like, oh, that's so stupid. But then it's the exact same thing I liked about Ghostbusters. And it's like it's there's no rhyme or reason as to why I I like it it or why I don't. It's just sometimes Ash versus Evil Dead. Yeah, it was amazing. Mm-hmm. And I feel that there was a lot of fan service in there, but I mean, yeah. oh my god, this show kicked it's, ass. Sometimes I'm in the mood for it. Sometimes I'm not. Actually, I guess Evil Dead's got a game coming out. 
and uh, they tease there's like four generations of ash. Oh, so yeah. you've got like regular ash, and then there's like an like an ancient the multiverse ash. Of ash. Yeah, yeah, and then like the I think like Ash's daughter. It cool. looks like Ashette. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess Ashley. So. Yeah, probably. If yeah, I I think Ashley makes Ashley. more fun than Ash. Ashette. Yeah. Ashette. yeah. Um. So yeah. So that was cool. Uh, the new Matrix trailer came out, which kind of confirms a lot of my theories, uh, because they were talking about things looping, like the, how like the. The timeline like loops for them and stuff like that uh they showed uh jada pinkett is in it as niobe but she's really old oh i think i saw a scene or something yeah so now you have you so you have young morpheus and like old woman niobe like she's got like dreads yeah. and all this and they're I all think gray I saw and, a picture yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and that's her without any makeup yeah and then so yeah, this that's just what she looks like. That's I, the only way she gets her like old looks back is by like berating um, Will, Will Smith, Smith. In public. Uh, <laughs> Give but, me your soul power. Yes, you're See bad in bed. Why are we doing this on camera? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, you've ruined my life. But um, but yeah. So, anyways, that kind of confirmed my original theory that as people die, they just renew into the matrix. Right, uh, because it's like, like basically what they're doing, or what I so think like they're doing. He gave himself up at the end, then he just started over at the beginning again. Essentially, I what I think uh, they're that's doing. A bummer. What I think they're doing is that they're cloning the same people. So when they die, when they're plugged into the matrix or whatever, but he's still the one. Yeah. So it's just like took him a little longer this yeah, time. Yeah. So I think it's I think it's something to do with that, uh, which is why. So they they put in a new. Morpheus at some point, oh but it God. was like, you know, I saw the one scene where he goes, I know Kung Fu. And then yeah. he goes, wait, did I knew Kung Fu? <laughs> and then he like, Ugh, and then that's where it stopped. Yes. He said, I still know Kung Fu. No. Then he says, did I uh, knew Kung did I, Fu? Did I knew like Kung in Fu? the past? Oh, I didn't catch that part. It's Keanu. Uh, Keanu. Yeah. That, that was improv. That was improvised. And like, for some reason, <laughs> Bill, uh, <laughs> Yeah, like uh, uh, Bill Winters is still with uh, him. They're, they're they're actually shooting scenes from Bill and Ted Three still, like during that. They just follow him around in his everyday life and then yeah. just throw that together as a movie. Yeah, no, but I'm looking forward. To it. it looks cool. I'm 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 willing to give that a shot. See what it's gonna do. I got nothing else to live for. Whatever. Right, no doubt. I go check it out. Better have some new bullet time shit going on, man. Technology yeah. is way awesome. Somebody, uh, I guess somebody did like a little quick redo of some uh, Matrix scenes using like current technology i just saw the same thing too somebody did that with jurassic park and i'll say like while the one that they did was more improved in terms of lighting and stuff like that it wasn't such a vast improvement on what jurassic park had already done say showing that like they really used the shit out of the technology they had at the time yeah exactly but it was just like but yeah they they did the same thing because i mean like i like the matrix sequels when again i when you think of like the whole story like the story as a whole is like I lo- I really like what the Matrix sequels do, but like just some of the gimmicks that they put into place in there, and like when they CG Neo to do like the Burly Man fight or something like that, I'm just like, oh, like fuck. When he's just- <laughs> yeah, and it just looks like, so wow. like it looks so it out like, of place. Holy fuck, like- yeah, and it just it was well, it's just because it looks so not like yeah. you just went from a shot of him to this shot, and I'm like, no, it doesn't look good. No, don't do and this. There's like to a me. cartoon swinging around yeah. a big old. But they fixed a lot. They fixed that in there and it was like it almost makes people want them to go full george lucas and fix some of their shit fix it why the but, hell not yeah so yeah you got a new uh how much money do you have to make before you know i know god snyder got like a whole like another movie's worth of budget to shoot a movie that was already shot and most of the people that bitched about it never even finished the completed project no doubt which is amazing i that is my favorite part yes it's like one third of the people that started the movie yeah. finished it congrats so hopefully those one third were exactly the number of people mm-hmm. that were like dude let's do this i'm i'm hoping though that it's not like a like a technicality like they didn't wait till the credits finished all the way through yeah, and then stop. And then oh, the file stops. Right, right. I don't know what. I think you got to get. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That's a good question, actually. That's a good question. That's a very good question. How do they know when the hell you stopped it, right? Yeah. It's like VHS porn. Well, I mean, like YouTube. I can look at our YouTube videos, which, by the way, subscribe to us and like the YouTube video and all those kind of things in case you're forgetting. But, um, like, I can see when people are watching and stuff, and I can see when it drops off. And it's like, you know, 100% of people were here at like second one. 
And then by like second eight, you know, 98% of right people off. were here. And then you can see a dip and you could actually use that and go in and go like, what the hell were we doing? And then sure enough, it's you and I arguing over how to pronounce Elijah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, that's that stuff. Um, but let's talk about next week. Next week is Christmas. It sure is. Uh, according to how we're talking right now. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. And, what? Wait, wait. Yeah. wait, I want to say something. Yeah, absolutely. Every, which I did not know. Mm -hmm. Spotify comes out with this like, oh, the year, year in like review, which I had yes. no idea. Yeah, I was at somebody's house and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" It's like spinning. I'm like, "What? What?" And then so they clicked it and it told me my entire Spotify history. Yeah, of that year, mm -hmm. I have listened to sixty eight thousand hours of music. Oh my god! I am in the ninety five percentile, <laughs> almost the tippy top. Yeah. Also, which I found weird, the, the way the numbering goes, right? Yeah. To say, like, you're on the 95% yeah. is like, what the fuck? Like, wouldn't you be, like, more like the top 10%, like the top, yeah, whatever, whatever. But then I am 0 0.01 ah. for Orange Goblin. Really? Which means I am, like, their number one fucking fan. Fuck. So give me a free T-shirt or something, Orange Goblin. Orange Goblin. I will. I will post this on Twitter, this clip. And we will send it to Orange Goblin and they can reach out 60, to us. I got to really pick it up next year. I need 100%. I'm putting the pressure on Todd, too, to reach out to the guy from the Devil's Latex. So oh, we can yeah. Go I, I, I got banned from thing. Banned from what? Uh, yeah, Instagram. Oh, That's what how the fuck I was did, talking to him. What the fuck did you do on Instagram? Nothing. There was like, I just made a comment. Oh. Oh, that you should be unbanned now because sometimes they'll do that. Well, I don't like even know hours. how to fucking sign it. I'll just have to show it to you. Okay. Literally, the picture is this girl. Yeah. She's in a bathtub. Yeah. She's wearing like nothing essentially and whatever the nothing she's wearing is soaked yeah and so she's essentially naked and yeah. so that's okay it's okay for her to be fucking naked in this bathtub yeah I think and so. it said want to join yeah and my comment my first comment of anything i was like i would punch my own mom in the face to join and i got banned that's not even like bad i know the picture was way i was like she's fucking naked yeah Everybody punches my mom in the face. Like, who, you know, big deal. I got banned for calling, like, Proud Boys, like, a terrorist organization and just kind of mentioning the terrorists should die. <laughs> but That's a terrorist organization. That I'll was, join that terrorist organization. That was, uh, We're like Dexter where we kill the killers. That was the, kind of, that was the kind of thing. They're like, yeah, you shouldn't say that. And I'm like, all right, fair, what but, about, like, you, whose side are you taking right now? Okay, well, what about a new... Oh my God, wait, listen to this. Okay, yeah. That's, I shouldn't give this one out for free. Don't do it. We came up with this at, uh, I'm going to say this sometime years later, whatever. Probably all this shit. Um, okay, so you have like Bukaki. Yes. Right, where they're slapping dicks, lots of dicks on like someone's face. I think there's more to it. You have to that, blow their yes. load onto it too. Yes, I think whatever, same the, thing, but lots of loads, lots of penises. That's what they, around. when they were doing it to me, that's what they told me the it was new, called. The new move mm -hmm. is... Okay, you get all the cocks and you you, you you put them all together. Yeah. So that what you do is like you put an elastic, like so all the balls are all yeah. together. Yeah. Right? So the cocks are obviously all pointing in different directions to get all the testicles together. I'm on you board. Put so a, you put an elastic band keeping all the balls together. Yeah. Then you jam them into someone's mouth. So then it looks like a cock bouquet is coming out of your mouth. So it's called a bouquet key. I... I'm not mad at it. I just don't know mm -hmm. what uh, what mm -hmm. uh, event I would order it for. Mm -hmm. Is That's that like a new it, one? Is that for funerals? That's like the oh, bar mitzvahs, whatever. Yeah. It's like the new rusty trombone or the new <laughs> for bar mitzvahs. You're a man now, Sal. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm on the hairy one's your uncle. <laughs> uh, we apologize to the Jewish faith. In the uh, but anyways. Speaking of Jews, next week is Christmas. <laughs> and, um, usual, and as usual, we hit you with a Christmas movie, but this time we decided to go a different way with it. It's a Christmas it's, movie. It is a Christmas movie. It's a movie that takes place over Christmas, and it's not like we did the Die Hard already, and so we're not going to have that debate. We are going into the horror realm of Christmas, because there's a lot of them, so I think we'll probably stick around the here. Holes, for I now. love it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Well, because there's the whole, this whole series of them. Then there's also like uh, Black Christmas and Santa's yeah, sleigh yeah. and well, you better too, watch yeah, out. Gremlins, Gremlins, Gremlins technically. Movie, uh, well, yeah, it's one she that tells that Santa like, story. Yeah, that's no doubt. Um, we better watch that one already. We did do that. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't here, but we did it. It's done. <laughs> Bummer. Um, I should have not been here for um, 
Super Mario Brothers. No. Because no, you because no, technically you also were. No. Um oh. Cabin Boy. Oh, Cabin Boy. Yeah, you should. If one if there was one I could miss, man, I'd be like, yeah. wow. Whew, could have missed that one. Yeah, but if we if we didn't riveting. have is that episode out yet? No, uh yes. Yes. Uh, and it is riveting. If Don't we, listen to me. Yeah, go You go. know what I think about podcasts. Yeah. But so I'm skewed. Yeah. If we didn't have like your your sailor insights in that episode, though, we would have had nothing. It would have just <laughs> been you would sailor have, insights. It would have just been That's you not and I. How stare. You spit tobacco over the side. Come yes. on. And when you see a when you see a cupcake from like sunburn <laughs> hallucination, That's right, yeah. you first off there's we have safety protocols in place for such that things. That was uh, grossly negligent on what uh, somebody with dehydration would actually see the cupcake would not spit nicotine. It would yeah. probably spit its insides out or something. Yeah. Like where did the cupcake get nicotine? I mean, come on now. Right. Yeah. yeah probably the store. Right. Maybe. Maybe. All right. But anyways, we digress. We are watching silent night, deadly night. Here's a look at the trailer. was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Christmas, Silent Night, Deadly Night. All right, guys. So, Silent Night, Deadly Night. We're excited about this one. We're going to release it on Christmas Day, which is actually the Saturday. So, you can just, you know, wait a day, I guess. But I wanted to show some things. It's now time to celebrate the 300th episode. But I had some things that I got from my birthday party that I wanted to show off. This is from my mother. We got Simpsonized as a family. Oh my god! So that's, that's wicked. Us. So we can try and show that off. That's my. Oh, it went out of focus again. It there just it did stop moving. I tried. Well, you can like see the reflection of us in the thing, but us. Oh my god, that's like a. Ugh, that, <clears throat> it's cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Where do you get that? Uh, I don't know where she got it done, but. Matt Groening official. Yeah, Matt Groening actually sent it yep. to us. Unbelievable. Like, I heard you were a fan. But this is something I wanted to show you because somebody who attended my party, Todd, was unable to make it because he was he was out of town. Uh, but somebody who did make it was our high school drama teacher. No! Patty Malkowicz no came way. to the party. Well, here's what I find out. So, whole thing. I'm looking, so I have like the blindfold on. I go into the place and then everybody's there and I'm looking around and the first, well, not the first person I noticed, but I'm looking around, I'm seeing family members, whatever. And then I see Elaine, who was somebody that I used to see, but also is the daughter of our teacher. And then I noticed the teacher. I'm like, wow. Like I was like, Carrie managed to reach out to them. How did they come here? Blah, blah, blah. Not only this, I find out that Carrie and Elaine have had a secret, like a secret friendship for the last month or so, and they like helped co-plan my party. No way! And so I'm sitting there, and at one point, Carrie and her are sitting at a table together, laughing, and I'm like, "Worlds colliding! Worlds colliding!" <laughs> like, it was so weird. What the fuck? That's super cool. That was super cool. How are they doing? They're doing fantastic. I did because remember, I went to her seventieth party. That was how we uh, reconnected and all that. I have dreams of patting it all the time. Yeah, all well, the time. I have something here that's going to blow your mind a little bit. Okay. And this is, she gave it to me. And I have drugs. Some, I have some things for you in here too. Oh my God. But let's open this up. Oh wow. Look at this. I will put these up. You'll see them on here. But look like these are, me. these are photos 
from a play we did called War Show. It was the last play we did in high school. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So this is me, like, big. Mm-hmm. And then I, like, lost a bunch of weight and then gained some of it back. So I'm yes. essentially pretty much consistent. Look at everybody else. Ha, ha, ha. Look at me. <laughs> Look at that fucking mustache. <laughs> Look at you. Look at that fucking mustache, man. Uh, hey, we have to look at these after. I don't believe. Yeah, I'm going to show. Yeah, we'll go through all these. I have I doubles on smoking. the. Um, I have doubles on the other side though that I can show I you. Have some of these. But um, long story short, though, was essentially that this was down the street from uh, our school. I would we would drive past it, and I noticed that this guy just had all this old war shit, like a crazy person in his backyard, and we right. mentioned it. <laughs> we mentioned it. I know, right? We mentioned it to. Oh um, shit! We mentioned it to our teacher, and she just made arrangements. And then, like, the newspaper came down and took photos of us. So we're like sitting on these trucks and all that. But like, it was so cool. And then there's like, we got way more shit in here. Like, no we way. got we got all different. We got production stuff. We got stuff from all over the place. And there's a there's Mark. Yeah, this is Toya. And yeah, it's just like there's a few people whose names I don't remember. A few people who I kissed do. her on a play. Yeah, so did I. I think we kissed her in the same play. Probably. Which oh my god. That's what we called it back then. A play. Her name <laughs> her Lanford name is, Recreational Center. Yeah, her new name is You Have Mouth Herpes. <laughs> <laughs> well, after kissing, she didn't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Before she was fine. This is oh yeah, shame. yeah. So there's some people I remember. Some people better than others. This guy, I, I will tell you, this is actually the main reason I started seeing Elaine is this guy, um, because he. I'm not going to put this picture up, but um, he uh, when they were doing a fashion show thing that a friend of ours was putting on, and I was working in the back of it, and he was being kind of like half jokey but half dicky. And was kind of like, oh, make sure, you know, anybody wants to give me their phone number, you keep the phone numbers for me, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of it, I did get a phone number, but it was from Elaine. It was his. For me. It was his. And then she, uh, and then I was like, yeah, I did get a number, but it was for me. Oh! Like, and it was just <laughs> oh. kind of like, screw you, dude. And, but yeah, there's so much stuff in here, man. That it's just like, it's so no cool. Way. But I have some in the back of this for you that specifically. Is awesome. So. Good stuff. So yeah, so that was that. And then the that last. Super fucking cool. And then the last thing I have. Um, uh, I'm gonna also show some pictures from like you can see behind me right there. Yeah, that Tiffany, photo so thing. Looking at it for like there's, 50 years. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of pictures of Todd and I in there. I'm gonna share a lot of Ming Ming thing as well. Uh, from like aid, like from high school graduation, and from like us as like fucking Joe's mother. Yeah, took a picture of Joe's penis yeah. every year for his entire life. It got smaller. And it's really amazing. Yeah, the it time got- lapse of it is like. Watching a star die. Yeah. It got smaller, hairier, but wiser. <laughs> exactly. It could, I, I could tell because it had glasses on towards the end. <laughs> so show what? the time had passed. What? Who is that? What? Yeah. But it always knew what to say. It always knew what to tell me to feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't anybody touch you? Because I'm a fucking mess. You're not the problem. It's me. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Um, yeah. He's evil. <laughs> um, but the last thing I wanted to do is I went through all of our previous best of episodes and I just compiled like just a mini best of just as kind of a reminder of uh, what we used know, to be like six years of doing this 300 like episodes th- six years to get 300 300 That's yeah pretty good though. well it's 52 you know 52 episodes a year uh, well plus That's the math. odd plus the odd uh like bonus and stuff like that so yeah. so we just got there but um yeah we wanted to uh Share a little best of so. Are you wait? Are you counting the failed Patreon episodes? No, or no, no, because oh. that's um, those are all binge watchers on the wall, which we're still half ass working on. <laughs> we're getting there. So we, we record a couple uh, every now and again. I don't know. All right, guys, let us have a listen to this best of. Brought to you by KTEL's new best of Figrin Dan and the Modal Nodes. You're going to get all your favorite Figrin Dan and the Modal Nodes tunes like this one. And don't forget this one. And if you act now and go online and order the CD right now, you're going to get this as a bonus track. I actually was reading a thing the other day. It was talking about people's fetishes. And it was talking about like how Mozart likes scat. And I'm like, what is that based on? But apparently it said he wrote to like his family members and told them how much he liked it. And there's like letters in like poo poo. Yeah. Yeah, like poo-poo. Oh. Huh. Like, he was into the scat, eh? What does that have to do with this movie, Joe? Oh, I have no idea. Because, I just, because uh, it's shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
sleep, those little slices of death, how I loathe them. Ed Ground Poe didn't like bread? Yeah, he loathes them. Bre- <laughs> Stop it. Stop the whole thing. <laughs> uh oh, she's in the quiet room. Is the room quiet? Do they have to be quiet in the room? This is the kind of uh, stand up humor you'll see if you ever see me get on stage. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with this room? <laughs> well, he's covering this woman's breasts and upper body with uh, batter. Talk about and a battered she, woman. She is. <laughs> yes. High five. Is that when the buddy's chasing him and he walks up to the thing? Remember the old one where the lizard's <laughs> chasing her? No, I want, I want everybody to say that, like, we do have a deep connection, the two of us, but then this is the kind of bullshit he asks me. <laughs> is this that one where the thing gets chased by the thing and goes up the other thing with the guy? Yeah. Yeah. You know that one. The answer is yes. That's the <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> I knew you knew. But I rewrote their music video for them, and I wish I could go back in time and direct it for them because I think I nailed it. They were doing some dance moves and stuff that really right. pissed me off. I said it should they should bring it all to the studio and have them doing stuff in the studio and building up and then like being on like a rehearsal stage and then doing a live performance at the end. Yeah. It would have destroyed their fucking <laughs> way better. I'm just saying. I, I'm guessing McGee probably. I like I like that, that you're living in a past glory that never happened. <laughs> you know, you're like, hey, I would have done that. That would have been awesome. I don't know when. Wang became part of the penis vernacular, but that must have been a really hard day for the Asian American community. When did that? That's a real question, right there. When? I, did no, that's Wang not. Let's be really. Cl- there's Puma. Yeah, let's be really clear. That's not a real question. <laughs> <laughs> this is the questions people need to be answering. Yeah, exactly. Jamaicans. Oh my lord! Did you look at th- that? Is blackface? I think it was the same guy twice. Probably. I that- think the guy shooting at him. Well, I know. And then the, the guy he was holding was the same guy. Well, I noticed that there are guys who are family, so I assume they're brothers. They're not brothers, but they're brothers. <laughs> Whatever small town they are from, it's the kind that uses planes to find a single missing child. There it is. He's he's. Uh, this is the states. There's a yeah. missing white kid. <laughs> it's the '80s. Like, oh my god! Like the army's after him here. <laughs> See, look at this. Well, back in the day, they don't make him like. Oh, you know what? I was literally just gonna say it didn't take like now. Yeah. They don't make him like this anymore, people. Uh, th- <laughs> you are the oldest man. See, there, there's no every question. Time, yeah, every time. Every, every single episode every has happened. <laughs> the graphics. They don't make them like this anymore, baby. <laughs> you we, know that. Goddamn garbage bags. bags. They don't make those garbage bags like they used to. No, well, now they have that interweaving you. technology because we're the future now. I'll give you the opportunity to say they don't make them like this anymore. But like just the mixing of these styles is so cool. Like this is a very Tarantino kind of thing. They don't make... Hey, wait, what? what? Stole my goddamn line. I don't know. Go Holy say. shit. <laughs> now they got like a warehouse of dudes pressing fucking buttons on a keyboard. They call that <laughs> making movies? Come on. Yeah. They don't but, make them like this anymore, baby. Yeah. <laughs> just say for real. Yeah. You've lost... Parents' names, vents, just for this fucking Star Wars knowledge. Those people die. <laughs> <laughs> Star, Star Wars, Wars never. Will. <laughs> if you could punch any horror icon in the mouth and get away with it, which one would you punch? Tell you one which which one I wouldn't. Pinhead. Pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> it is the most crooked eye. It's almost like. It's trying to learn how to be an eye from the other eye. So he's just like job shadowing. He's just, he's just staring like, at him doing? the entire time. What, what are you doing? His fucking game costs $80 now. What one? 79 All of them. Oh, yeah. Seventy nine ninety nine. Yeah, it's crazy. So you buy the system for $500. You buy six games. That's the cost of your system. Yep. Go to the library, people. Yeah. Rent games. You thought I was going to say read? <laughs> oh, my God. Stupid. Oh, my God. There's games there now. Yeah, we we, we bought the family a puppy, and uh, she is not adjusting quite yet, and she's very loud. So she's constantly <laughs> whining. You know, bitches, right? <laughs> high five. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But, um, he means female dogs, people. The actual usage of the word. Okay? Good either way, whores. So don't get... <laughs> <laughs> and you could have a big heavy person on top of a car back then because of all the heavy steel that those old, those yeah. old cars are made of. So you know what you might say about those cars? They, they were built real sturdy and good. They don't. They don't mm. fuck around making cars mm. like that. <laughs> they don't make. They don't make cars anymore at all. <laughs> That was the one, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you nailed it. 
I think my my fear is is well, I I, I am afraid of breaking my right arm because I don't think I can wipe my ass with my left. But <laughs> Haley Steinfeld, my God, she's fucking gorgeous. She's of age. She is gorgeous. <laughs> I think I think she is. I've used the word tumultuous. I've never used the word the the root word of tumult, and I'm really happy with to myself tumult. Right now. I'm very happy well, with you as well. Oh, well, thank you. Mainly because you haven't killed yourself yet. Ooh, always on the cusp though. <laughs> <laughs> This movie is 22 years old. If you Holy want to really put... God, what have we done with our lives? 11 <laughs> 11. This yeah, cast commentary gets huge. <laughs> I marry a celebrity and yes. then and then we get we break up horribly. What celebrity? It's 11 11. Uh god, we're Christina Ricci. Done. All right. You watch now. If I get married to Christina Ricci and then we get divorced, I just had an epiphany. But yeah. if I get married to Christina Ricci and we do not get divorced, do not ever bring this up. This, Don't cause a rift between me and Christine and Ricky for any reason. This portion of the podcast did not require my presence. Hmm? <laughs> hey, when did you get here? Hey, <laughs> Joe, give me your headset and go to bed. This is a drinking game now during Three Amigos. Okay, every time Spoiler you see alert, a we're doing pair three of I- Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. But that brings hey. us back. <laughs> very loosely to the movie we're oh, doing. It does, yeah. Three Amigos. Yay, what a surprise. <laughs> uh, <we're... laughs> and then have my daughter go, what, what is What that is why? happening here, and, yeah. and to have to even explain that to her in 2018 is heartbreaking. What did like, you just say? 2018. Is that what year this is? Yes. Oh, I am late for a wedding. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> He's gay as Zorro's blade, man. He pretend he's married to <laughs> Kelly Preston. That's, Come on. That's the gayest thing I've ever oh, heard. He's Lord. gay as Zorro's blade. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. I, I couldn't think of anything more current. I'd probably get yes. in trouble. Everybody knew Zorro's blade was homo, you know? <laughs> he's gay as Zorro's blade, but Donald Trump is rapier. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> find me another podcast where the two hosts are this in sync. You go, you <laughs> no, right? find it. You couldn't even have fuck? a podcast about in sync with two people from in sync, yeah, and they would be that in sync. No, they wouldn't. No, could you just say that one more time? Nope, <laughs> not a chance. His eyes are bleeding. Look into the camera. So the time traveler's daughter. Oh, gross. The time traveler's wife too. Oh, like the re- the revenge. Yeah. Sorry. This time like, it's. <laughs> yeah. This time it was personal. Yeah. Uh, see, uh, I see. Like that. We're having a good time. Are we having a good time out there, folks? <laughs> in fairness this thing is new to me and i thought that was the that was the that applause was the perfect one look at this he's yeah. not even on anything here well drugs maybe but not any wires or anything look at, that. Look at this little known fact about frogs they hate being shot with bullets <laughs> good thinking man yep. good thing we are Kind of at the top of our game for smartness when both for of us smartness that, like, I, that, I, like that, like that, like that statement. Uh, <laughs> we found the title of this episode. Uh, <laughs> that was so fucking perfect. <laughs> if I get Lyme disease and Joe gets lemon disease, <laughs> we're gonna be seven up. <laughs> I don't know why I like this. <laughs> it was one of the dumbest <laughs> things I've ever said. I really like it, actually. Oh, uh, uh, I can have four conversations at the same time. It's not always my experience with you. <laughs> when we went and saw Captain Marvel, it was a fucking nightmare. You're sitting there, you're talking to me about some bullshit, or you're talking about the popcorn or whatever. You're like, I got to piss for popcorn. I got to eat all this popcorn. What did she just say? Fucking pay attention. <laughs> no, come on. Is that what she said? I didn't have to. I don't pay attention when women talk. That's why I had no <laughs> idea what happened in that whole movie. <laughs> let me let me put this to you. This is what you just described to me, and tell me if there's any human who would be able to find it. You know, you remember Kevin, the guy with. I'm also touching things while I make that I was noise. Just doing it. They can't see you. Yeah, but they couldn't see you. True. <laughs> <laughs> we're at, we're at another. You should impasse. have explained it to them. <laughs> So that is uh, what 300 episodes look like. We, we're, we're not getting like more professional if that's what you're worried about. Um, I did want to say the rapier. I, yeah, the rapier I, was, I wasn't not was so proud good. of that. Um, uh, but I do just want to say 300 episodes. I could not be woo. happier that I could do this. I could be happier. <laughs> I probably, yeah, baby, I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I, why, why put a cap on it? I guess yeah, exactly. But um, no, fair enough. But I, I'm just thrilled that I've been able to spend this time with you to do this, and it's been such a blast. Agreed. And to go from just being a part to doing this, and like just having so much fun, and having people come with us along the way. Thank you to everybody. Tell all your friends. Every one of them. Everybody. My fear is that we um, really roped in. A group of introverts. My categories. <laughs> um, no, but we. So you're right. Yeah, we roped in a group of introverts, and we're like, "Tell your friends." And you're like, "Stop reminding me that I don't have friends." Oh, that's what I was gonna say. What's that? It's like, okay, you know, trans and all that. Oh, good. what if Speaking I'm sexually frustrated? Yeah. That incels won't have sex with me. It's time to incelebrate <laughs> good times. Come on. The women should have fallen out of the sky like the incels want and then still be disappointed. I will tell you. You're not Olivia Munn. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're just Olivia Wilde. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Do you think anybody out there is still pining for Shailene Woodley? Ooh, yeah. Like, I've like, seen I've seen what she's done to Aaron Rodgers and how she loves crystals. Oh and my shit. god! So. Yeah, that's right. He's totally not. He gets his uh, medical knowledge from Joe Rogan. Everybody should. Yes. If I forgot that she was married to him. She she yeah. did the right thing and just went off with her crystals for a while while he's going nuts about you know. Yeah. Did you see her? Go I don't off? think should, is there. That's gonna fall right off. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Break um, a birthday gift. Did you see the, I guess like there was something, somebody took a picture and they're like, this is Aaron Rodgers, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, yeah, like he drive that crappy a car. And then like, just started like just shitting all over, like poor people. Like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, <laughs> it was our favorite lady. I'm like, oh God. I'm like, he does not marry well. I was like, this is my, who else about- did he marry? Uh, he married Danica Patrick. Ooh. Um, and that was just a weird relationship and his career started. This is what happened. Like Andre Agassi had the same thing with Brooke Shields. You're like, oh my God, he married Brooke Shields. Oh, how amazing. And then he became like the worst tennis player. And then because he sucked the living life out of you. Right. And then he uh and then they get divorced. And I think he won like his first tournament after they got divorced. Ever the day after. It was just boom. It was like it was like that's out of my system. Um because he can totally focus now. Yeah. And he so was with you're, the, gonna, you're gonna marry some Hollywood diva. Yeah. yeah. And he was with Olivia Munn as well. In the in between oh, those two. Oh, really? So, I chose who was, the right name. Who is now with um John Mulaney. Oh, that's right. He left his wife for her. Yes. Because he suddenly, oh, uh, yeah, he got too big for his britches, that one. He just came out of uh, rehab. Yeah, and then he dumped his wife. He's like, yeah. oh, thanks for being my rock to stand on, bitch. See ya. Yeah. That's like. I, See ya, but when I admit that I'm gay and I leave Olivia Munn and uh, uh, maybe live in the basement. I'm like, I hope he's got lots of money. He's got lots of money. I hope you that's true because the then that, like, then I'm still in the picture. He made that home. joke, too, that he's like three quarters gay or yes. something. He's like, well, he, I, well cause, yeah, no, he said the thing. He's like, um. He's like, you you see here and here that I have a girlfriend. He's like, which is weird because I'm probably gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's a little self-aware joke. Yeah. I've always liked John Mulaney. Stay, off the, stay off the sauce, bud. Do it. Yeah. Stay clean, baby. Uh, and the last thing I would want to say to kind of bring things down since we started with Anne Rice's death, I would say that. Um, <laughs> so we started with? Yeah. No, but I would uh, say to just, you know put out some love to the people in like up through the States who just got like their whole towns torn apart by tornadoes. Oh my God. I didn't even know. Oh, so basically the storm that we just had, the big wind storm that we just had, it came up through all these places. Oh my God. Uh, There was a tornado that touched down. I can't remember. It was around Kentucky. Uh, I think it touched down at like 6 PM. It was still on the ground at like 11 PM. Jesus. And um, the people of Mayfield, Kentucky, Literally, their entire town was flat. Like, not one building left. Like the whole place. The whole place was just, Uh, at least the one shot that I saw. Um, And, like, this is a whole thing, because I see people already doing the stupid, like, political nonsense with this, because, like, I guess, um, it was Rand Paul came out saying, because the governor requested, you know, federal assistance and all that. And then people, and then- Right. And then and then people and then like Rand Paul kind of like retweeted that or said, I support that, blah, blah, blah. But then people started going, oh, Rand Paul, you didn't feel so happy about that when Hurricane Sandy happened. And uh, Chris Christie was asking for help. And he was like, and I'm like, no, not time to be political. This is a human crisis. Like, 
uh, you know, this is a human crisis. Take care of your humans. For yeah. Fuck's sake. Well, our, our thoughts and prayers that miscast go out yeah. to uh, all the people. So that's if for you, sure. if you can and choose to, uh, you know, want to support them in any way, especially because it's the holiday. Like I just picture all these people losing everything yeah. right going into Christmas. Yeah. Uh, and so, like, if you want to support them, pick the charity or the support place that you feel most comfortable, like like a Red Cross or something I feel like, like I that. I should watch the news more. Like I'd like yeah. never, no idea. No, it's all good. I just and, found Downton back on Netflix. Yeah. Like there, boom, right? Yeah. I've, I've been lost in ancient Britain. I get it. I'll tell you, the first place I saw it was TikTok, so I'm not better. Yeah. Um, but well, the, whatever you get your news, yeah, hey, yeah, right, right, I, I, I found it eventually, so yay me. But, um, but yeah, if you want to help, uh, you pick the one that you feel is right. Don't like, I won't, I never like to suggest one because that's one pick one yourself, know. yeah, yeah, because yeah. it seems like we got something going on, yeah, or, or send all your money to Todd yeah. Care of Miscast, yeah. I will put my we'll get it there, bank Don't number there, you send it directly to me, yeah. Um, next week, he's got a giant gold <laughs> chain, <laughs> but, um. <laughs> But yeah, so I, it was just uh, much love out to them. And then uh, it's the people in Vancouver who are still dealing with uh, the aftermath of all the flooding and all that stuff. Same kind of thing. We're about to go into the holidays. And like, that's what I was saying is where like literally our next episode is our Christmas episode. So yeah. just a lot of love uh, to those people who are currently doing without. Uh, and yeah, I know we just laughed a lot and now we're not, but we'll laugh again. Three after three hundred episodes, do you think they were all going to be bangers? <laughs> but um, no. Hey, and, sometimes uh, you got to get real. Yeah, it's the truth. You know. Yeah, we're going into the holiday season. You know, we're we're not uh, fucking <clears throat> rich by any means, but no. we're definitely not. We're yeah. de- we're not hurting. Yeah. Well, like, I, well, I I grew up, you know, horribly, not poor, but. A yeah. tornado never ripped my fucking house down. Yeah. Like, I mean, I remember one yeah. Christmas, uh, and I don't, I look fondly, whatever, where I just got like a sweater. Yeah. And I mean, at least, you know, like that's more than the like, bazillions yeah. of people get. Yeah. So yeah. you count your blessings, everybody. Yeah. And you enjoy your family and your loved ones this holiday season. You bet. And you give if you can. Yeah. That's exactly right. Um. So, yeah. After 300 episodes, guys, so much love. Um, have a happy, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I, Hanukkah has passed and I never know what days they are. So sorry, my Jew friends. I, mm, sorry. We, <laughs> I screwed it up again this year. No, there was the one year where it was it like lined up perfectly with like Christmas and all that. And I was like, yeah, I know when this is. And I actually nailed it. Everybody, every friend I have and coworker who's Jewish, I was like jumping out. I'm like, happy Hanukkah. Cause I know about it this year. <laughs> And, <laughs> and then I just say, way know, to kill Jesus, and then I give him the wink of the gun. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a uh, that that's a trip around the track from help your fellow trip man. Around the track. Jesus, uh, quite literally. Um, but anyways, <laughs> everybody out there, much love. Uh, Silent night, deadly night. We're gonna watch Santa murder some people. Uh, and get back week. into the holiday spirit. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you then. Bye, guys. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.